Hi, this is Zach here with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Monday the 24th of June. Starting off with the FTSE 100 where uh, it looks as though uh, the market's looking forward to a Labour government at the moment. So we've broken that line of resistance there from May. That was uh, 82.30. We're above the 50-day line and the even support intraday now above the 50-day line there at uh, 8200. And uh, looking for an easy 8300, which is the main block uh, early June resistance after that that uh, brief spike that we had 8371 as a target over the next week or two. On the downside, hoping that we won't get anything lower than 8180 in the floor of that rising trend channel from the end of December. But the uh, sizzle here, the way that uh, there's been an RSI bounce off neutral 50, it's currently at 54, uh, which is actually normally a leading indicator on the upside. So uh, looking about as good as the FTSE could be given the uh, lay of the land. Moving on to the DAX and uh, here trying to get back above that 50 day line, uh, 50 day line there 18,300. That's actually starting to rise again, which is uh, good news and uh, end of day close above that. We're looking at the highs again, hopefully by the end of next month or even sooner. So towards 18,900. We can also adjust perhaps the rising trend channel that we had there from back in October and uh, look for the uh, market to hit the top of that rising trend channel from back uh, in the autumn, which is probably more in that trajectory I'm drawing at the moment, so towards 19,700 by the end of next month. But the key here, getting an end of day close back above that rising 50 day line. On the downside, uh, hoping that won't be anything lower than may support 17,900 or so. Moving on to the Dow and uh, here, the situation is that uh, we're well above the uh, 50 day line that's now rising which is a positive and uh, we managed to close above recent resistance uh, june resistance early june resistance 39100 above that obviously we're looking for 40000 record highs big picture target maybe by the end of next month if we're really lucky would be up to the top of that rising trend channel from back in uh, july last year 41600 on the downside ideally we stay on the right side of 38000 RSI at 56, which is also a plus and is a, normally a leading indicator on the upside. Moving on to Bitcoin, which is not looking so good. Uh, here you can see that uh, we've broken down uh, below the floor of that rising uh, trend channel from back in November. Also well below the 50-day line, 66,500, and we risk a move down to the 200-day moving average in the floor of that uh, falling trend channel from the uh, beginning of March. Uh, that was, uh, or that is heading or pointing to 57,000. So uh, RSI also at, uh, well, near the oversold level, but uh, not quite there. So that suggests that there is a day or two more of downside, even if we manage to uh, recover after that. The uh, recovery signal here would be really an end of day close back above that 50 day line. If you're really fussy or really aggressive, then 65,000 may work for you as well. On to gold and uh, here the uh, worst case scenario of uh, heading down to 2280 so far hasn't happened. We've had a nasty bull trap through the 50 day line and uh, through that resistance line there from May. Uh, the, the area there 22, uh, 2360 rather and uh, the risk now still of a test of 2280 the May support even if we bounce back again after that. RSI at 46 are also suggesting that uh, we've got a bit of a down move to come. Multiple failures in the low 50s for the RSI, which uh, tends to be actually one of the more negative setups than that you can have. Moving along to the stocks and starting off again with uh, Avacta, where uh, somebody's given the credit for the shares going up, so maybe they can take the credit for the shares going down. What we don't want to see today is an end of day close back below the 50 day moving average at 44 pence because that would cancel out the prospect of a move to the top of that broadening triangle from April up to 53 pence. Obviously, uh, the main problem here is that below the 50 day line, there's a risk of another test of the sub 40 pence area. RSI is still just about above 50. That's just under 52. So we really need that combination of RSI 50 plus and the shares above the 50 day line, which they're trying to do as I speak. On to Aptima, which uh, I believe had some news uh, today as well. But uh, here we've got a rising trend channel base, rising 50 day line as well. We gapped up twice back in April, so that does suggest a turnaround. And uh, even though it's a bit of a, a gappy stock, gapped up again today. So the view here is that above the floor of the channel, there 0.65 could head as high as 1.07 pence at the top of that channel. 
maybe as soon as the end of next month. Uh, an easier chart maybe to look at is Anglo-Asian, where uh, we're breaking out through uh, recent May resistance. So we found a quarter pence above that, looking for up to 93 pence by the end of next month. We've got the 50 and 200 day lines both rising sharply, and uh, that does suggest that we have the prospect of a move up towards the 90 pence area and obviously the old November resistance in the meantime up to 82 pence. This stage only back below the initial June peak, 69 pence would really question the breakout scenario. On to Belluscura, which raised a few pennies today, or said it had. Uh, here we've got this uh, U-shaped rebound rising 50-day line as well. Uh, the view is that uh, not only will we retest May resistance over the next uh, few days, but we could actually head up to 30 pence by the end of next month, given the uh, quality of that uh, turnaround. So the, the two U-shaped turnarounds there, and uh, that does suggest that uh, there's a bit of strength behind the situation. A rising 50-day line as well at 11 pence, and uh, while we're above that, looking for that 30 pence destination. On to Cleantech Lithium, which uh, came back from its recent run, the May run there, but uh, still looks as though we've got a rising trend channel base there. The floor of the channel there, basically the Friday support, which was around uh, the 14 pence level. And above that, looking for up to uh, 28 pence by the end of next month. Obviously, if you are cautious, you wait for an end-of-day close through the rising 50-day line at 19 pence, but obviously that gives away uh, some of the upside. Moving along to a situation which was one of the highlights of uh, the last week or so, uh, it is uh, CapEx, and uh, here we had uh, a rebound in the end at uh, 15 and a half. We were risking up to uh, or down to the 14 or pence, uh, the 0.41 pence uh, level, but the RS, the 50-day moving average moving nicely here, and uh, we can close above the previous target there, 0.18. We are still looking for 0.4 pence by the end of next month. Ideally, this becomes a V-shaped bull flag, as I call it. But the key here, uh, the end of day close, or an end of day close above 0.18. Moving on to Empyrean, which uh, has been uh, the dish of the day so far. Shares up 65%, gapping off the low, but obviously it's a horribly illiquid looking situation there. The, the best thing we have to go on here is that uh, the 50-day line there is at 0.39. End of day close above that, we could head to the top of that falling trend channel from November as high as 0.69 by the end of next month. It's a punchy call, but uh, let's see if the shares are up to that kind of call. We looked at uh, Eternity quite recently, and uh, it looks as though the shares are still trying to break out of the uh, falling wedge situation that uh, they've been in since uh, the end of the year. We want to see an end of day close above the 50 day line, which hopefully we'll get today after two failures last week. That's at 0 0.77 above that, looking for up to 1.4 pence by the end of next month. And obviously expecting something quite explosive, maybe something a bit like what we saw in April or back in December for the shares. On to Graph Polymer, where uh, the suspicions that they were, the shares were ready to turn around after, um, the, uh, decent rally they had um, over the course of um, uh, May. Uh, it looks as though we are reviving ourselves for a potential move to the upside. Uh, bounce off or bounce above the rising 50-day line there at 0.31. And uh, just looking for a breakout there through recent resistance 0.6. If we can get that, then it's the 200-day uh, moving average at 0.88 that we could be seeing by the end of next month. But the key here is breaking that 0.6 level on an end of day close basis we already got that rsi 50 rebound so that gives us extra confidence in the upside on to a stock on aquis uh, which is called good life uh, somebody else look at aquis stocks obviously and uh, here nice move here through the 50 day moving average the pro first proper one that the shares have had uh, since they came to market in december and at the 50 day line they're at 1.5 pence above that but looking for up to 2.2 pence by the end of next month although obviously uh, the timing on that a little bit difficult. Clearly, we don't want to see any fresh lows below 1.4, but uh, we have a setup there, especially given the way that uh, the RSI has bounced off uh, one on the uh, one to 100 or zero to 100 scale. So that is pretty strong stuff. On to Longboat, and uh, here the director buying, doing the uh, well, working wonders for the share price. We've already gone up uh, a lot anyway, as we anticipated with that W shaped. Rebound on full gap to the upside as well. The view now is that while we're above the 200-day uh, moving average, 18 pence, we get up to 28 pence by the end of next month. 
who obviously broken that line of resistance in the falling trend channel from back in July last year. But uh, using that 200-day line there at 18 pence as the notional technical stop loss. On to two stocks, which are probably the best uh, calls of the year to date. First one is Mosman, where uh, I think we were looking for action here back in May around the uh, 0.02 pence level. The initial target there, 0.33. Next one, 0.47. And the final one here, final from now, obviously up to 0.07 pence and uh, looking for that well before the end of next month. Obviously, we've got that spike to retest there from the end of January there, heading through toward 0 0.085. But the key here is staying above 0 0.43. Moving along to uh, Metal NRG, and uh, again, this uh, sort of not too uh, different from the previous chart, actually, uh, the situation here, but uh, we had that rather strange price action on Thursday, but uh, following through now by one of our previous targets, I think that's the fourth target there, 0.27, and now we're looking for a final destination here, as high as uh, 0.42 or 0.43 by the end of next month, while we remain above 0.27. On to Savannah, and uh, here another stock which has blown all the targets out. Uh, the, that was the second target there, the red line. We gapped through that and uh, looking for up to uh, six pence here, which is the uh, resistance line projection from this time last year, maybe five and three quarters to six pence by the end of next month, while we remain above the floor of the gap and uh, the previous target there at four pence. Uh, awful chart to uh, look at next, uh, which is tiny build, but uh, obviously take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, rising trend channel base here from the shares and gaps up and gaps down, but we gap through the falling 50-day line today. Floor of the channel there around 5 pence above that. We're looking for 8 pence by the end of next month, but obviously uh, one can see that that's not exactly the most liquid stock on the market. Finishing off with uh, Westminster Group and uh, here potential of a rising uh, trend channel there from back in September. A little bear trap below the... Uh, the April support there, 2.44 pence. But uh, looking for an end of day close above the 50 day line there at 2.6 pence. If you can do that, we could be on for a retest of April resistance, 4 pence plus by the end of next month. But uh, really want to stay on the right side of uh, the uh, two and a quarter pence area in the meantime. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.